Why hello internet, what's Gucci? And welcome to another video. Today I wanted to make a video about stepping into the Ruby side of the world and what is the rake file. So in Ruby you have something called the rake file. If you've ever done C or C++ programming, this is very similar to a make file. In fact, it's that's why it's named. It's named rake file for the R being Ruby instead of make file. And what a make file was originally for is for C and C++ um, code to be compiled and ran. And so that is what the rake files allows you to do. It allows you to write Ruby code, or, or yeah, Ruby code for it to write simple tasks and things that you may need to execute, such as removing files or doing easy repetitive tasks that you may need to do a lot. So in this movie, we're going to make a rake video. And I'd like to note quickly that all this code will be in a gist in the description below. It'll be the first link you see. It'll be in hopefully big easy letters. So don't worry about, you know, following along. So the first thing to develop our task is we need to give each task a description. And so you simply say um, description, DESC, which is a method, which is going to, it, um, it describes the next rake task, as you can see right here. So you can give it a rake task and it runs it. And so when I describe that rake task, I can say, you know, um, removes, I'll just say removes dot files for now. And then, so I can give a description, I can give it a long string, a short string, it doesn't matter. So now I can make my task. And the way I do this is by stating my task, which I say my task, this is why I love Ruby, it's so verbose. And then I give it a symbol of what I want the task to be called. So I'm just going to call it task, I'm going to call it task R. So it's going to, which is going to stand for remove. Un I'll just call it remove unnecessary or unnecessary and then I'm going to give it a block and now so in this block I'm going to define what my task does and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write a I'm going to write some commands some terminal commands that remove dot files for me and so I'm going to call rm and dot rf and then I'm going to do star slash dot files and so what this is going to do is this is going to recursively remove and force me to remove all the dot files in my in my folder where I run this. And so this is the easiest rake task I can make. And so now you'll see that if I go to if I go to my rake tasks and I type in rake t and what this does is it gives me all the commands and that's cuz I have this down here. Let me get rid of that. And if I do rake t it gives me, you know, all the help that I'm going to have. So it gives me the commands that I've stated. So I make rake run necessary, and then it gives me the comment of what I've defined as a description, removes dot files, and then boom. And then I can run rake run necessary. This is a pretty interesting name. It's like what Stewie, Scooby do would say. So then it's a, so now it's giving me that it doesn't know how to remove these. It's worth it. I had a stupid error. I was just spelling "run necessary" wrong because I spelled it like a nincompoop, and I forgot where I forgot where to put the a. But as you can see now, that I can correct it. But let me just call it "run" or "remove." So now I can run "rake remove," and simply that will work. And something else I forgot to remind in Ruby is that I use backticks here, and what these backticks do is when I put anything in backticks, it executes it executes it as a terminal command. So remove rf dot files, that's a Linux command to remove all the dot files in your directory recursively throughout all your inner directories. And so putting that within um, back quote, back ticks will do this for you. And that's another thing with Ruby is you can just include terminal commands whenever you want. And back ticks are not single quotes. Back ticks are usually to the left of the one key on your keyboard. I just want to make that crystal clear. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's pretty easy to make race tasks and I hope you can use them in your upcoming program project. Have the best day of your lives. Hi again everyone. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys for liking, subscribing, and commenting on this video. If you want to watch more videos of the same category, you can click over here. And if you want to watch any new videos and learn something new, you can click over here. Have the best day of your life.